remote work. So do you enjoy working remotely or working from home, Josh? Uh, I like both. You like remote? Well, I, I mean, like hybrid. hybrid. I like a hybrid. Hybrid, yeah. yeah. Hybrid is nice because you get to like, you know, feel like you're still part of a company, et cetera. But Martha Stewart says the opposite. Martha Stewart is saying that work from home is unnecessary. And if people are working from home or doing hybrid, America is going to go down the drain because people don't want to go back to work. And you can't possibly get everything done working three days a week in office and two days a week remote. Do you think this is true? Didn't you go to jail? <laughs> Martha Stewart? Okay. No, man, I, I might be thinking something else. <laughs> but I will say that I, I do not agree with that. I don't think so. I think there's def- that is definitely a, a hot take. That is an extremely hot take. People will fight her for it. <laughs> I mean, would you fight her for it? No. Okay. <laughs> well, you obviously don't care enough then. Oh, my God. But Kevin O'Leary agrees with... The people who work from home, or at least at least admits that people who are the top talent, he says, refuse to work in offense because he goes, he says that, I quote, that the people, he wants to hire the best talent and the talent he's talking to, they don't want to get shot on their way to go to work because they don't want to go to a war-torn city like SF. What? <laughs> yeah. So Kevin O'Leary was saying that he was trying to hire for positions, like financial positions, etc. And the top talent that he was looking for, the top talent, was l- saying that they would refuse to work or like join the company if they had to go in full time to SF. That's because crazy. to them, that meant they had a 45 plus minute commute yeah. both ways. And they had to go to a city that's like dangerous, so they they said that they didn't want to risk it at all to go in. And so, if his company wanted the top or the top talent or the or the best talent that was out there, the top talent or the best talent knows that they have options. And if you're like have value your life, if you if you believe that. Places are as are as unsafe as they are, which there is truth, but there's also not truth. Like SF is not as bad as it it's is it's shown compared to other large cities. Yeah, but the perception slash slight reality of the situation is that it kind of is not the safest place to be. It, it's would you be safer at home doing your job? Oh, 100 percent. Safer, exactly. Safer at home, yeah, you would 100% be safe. Yeah, at like home. if you're at home, like as long as you're not in the city as it's Oh, yeah, <laughs> if true. If you're working true. from home in true. in SF, you're like, well, you know, like that's that's not really much difference. You could just go in office and the same thing. But I think he's definitely correct that like now that people have had the taste of working from home, this is a large perk that the top talent if you become like a desirable asset to a company or like you become like one of the like people that are desired to yeah. work for them they will you know like they'll they'll work with you like if any any type of like benefit of a company like oh you know like we have a 401k matching or we have you know like free food or we have you know like some stock other stuff options or whatever. stock options yeah. those are all benefits if Nowadays, work, hybrid work schedule is definitely a large perk or benefit for a position. Yeah. Because arguably. it definitely can like reduce the amount of time you're wasting in traffic. Because like your your day is reduced because like you may not be work you'll be working the same hours but you'll be like working less because you don't have a forty five minute or you don't have to go on the BART all the way to to sf yeah and then you don't have to bart all the way back you could even takes a bunch of time off you could even work from like bali or you could work from like that's Hawaii, true and you have all you technically have all these locations that you're able to work from so, which, which, is crazy. which is nice i mean what but those become like tax implications and we won't go through yeah. it here but 
that just is like a huge headache because like, man, I wouldn't want to be your accountant. If you have an accountant or if you go through TurboTax, I don't even think they have options for, oh God. for the Bali. I need you, a Bali ta- tax return. No, know, thanks. I was looking up. I was just on my phone right now because really? I wanted to fact check this. Fact check me? No, not fact check you. Oh, so Mar- Martha Stewart <laughs> did go to jail. Oh, she did? Yeah, for, for a little, I forgot. I think it was tax evasion. I don't remember, uh-huh. but I, I, I think it was. I didn't actually fact Jeez. check that. I just fact checked that she just went to jail. And the second thing is that I fact check that Kevin O'Leary was involved in FTX. He was? I mean, a lot of people were. Yeah. I you would think not about trust it. Kevin O'Leary. Really? No. He's on the Shark Tank. He is on the Shark Tank. Yeah. I'd rather trust Mr. Him. Fabulous. I would rather Mr. trust Marvel. Mark Cuban. Oh. Or, or Lo- Lori. Really? It's the other, mm. the other sharks, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what... On a separate... I mean, if you stay this long, you, you, you're you one of the real ones. But, like, I don't know which shark I would trust. I would not I feel trust. like a lot of the sharks, like, move in and out. Like, there's would, only a few that are, like, have stayed long enough. I, 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 I'm telling you, I would not trust Kevin O'Leary, and I would not really? trust uh, Damien. Mm. Yeah, and just Kevin O'Leary would spend all your money on on watches. You know? That's true. I've seen his videos. <laughs> his watch videos are pretty funny. I or well, when I say funny, I mean fun. But um, so the crazy thing is that Martha Stewart um equated that if we don't go back to work, if Americans have refused to work, we're gonna become France. And I'm like, what? We're gonna heck? become France? Yeah. So we'd be France. And France is not a thriving country, is what, what um, Martha Stewart said. Yeah. So I was like, what? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I mean, like, they're definitely striking right now. And they definitely care about the whole, redu- or no, not reduction, increase in, in retirement age. Hmm. And they're they're revolting. Did you Have you seen pictures of um, uh, France? No, no, I have not seen pictures of France. I'm gonna have to check this out. Really, I, I did not know this oh, part. No. Oh no, uh, this is yeah, this is for the real ones. This is this is what you're called if you stayed this long. Fifty percent real ones. <laughs> All right, so in France, there's like piles of garbage. Like in in Paris, there's piles of garbage now because the trash w- workers are refusing to. They're on strike because they don't want to. Really, I did not. Yeah, know they're that. well because the, there's a, there's still a whole debate about the retirement age. In oh. France. Oh, I do remember yeah. this actually. Yeah, they're like rioting with yeah. p- police, and like, like a lot of people are not happy about this whole thing, and it's it's so insane to me because I'm like, dang, like we, I, I don't know, I I personally haven't been. To, have you been to France? I have been. It was so dirty. You have been? Yeah. Oh, I have been to Paris. Not. Yeah. Okay. No, it's even dirtier now. Oh yeah, I can with do. like That's no even stacks, worse. Yeah. like pile mounds of trash. Yeah. So I'm it's like, crazy. and and a lot of it's like a lot more dangerous because of um, well, cause like, well, dangerous as in like you might f- randomly go down a street and then find yourself in a protest. That's crazy. And then the police will potentially shoot tear gas into where you are, and then you're like, well, oh my god, I guess I'm part of the protest now. That's crazy. So, <sighs> yeah, that's crazy. Um, that's crazy back story. to it. I my opinion is that I think. Uh, work from home slash hybrid work is definitely a good middle ground as long as the senior people and the new people are in at the same time. Because one of the arguments is that new people are get not getting the same experience or not getting enough uh, love and care mm-hmm. as the ones that were previously there earlier. Like they are not getting enough, enough development. So yeah, as long as there's a hybrid schedule where there's enough face time between um, more senior people and the junior um, people that coming into company during the same days. Because if you have opposite days of like a uh, hybrid, then obviously they're not going to see each other. Yeah. But I think as long as you put like a lot of the um, educational or like um, peer development during these days when you're in office together, mm-hmm. I think it'll definitely basically equate out because you can just hammer through a lot more work and i think like it increases morale yeah to not i mean like obviously you need to go in like that's not a question like if i had hybrid i I do have hybrid i'm just gonna be real and i go in because like you know you gotta go in i'm i'm working at the company and the company 
you know, if I'm working at the company, I need to go to the company at some yeah. point. <laughs> so, oh my God. like, but I do think that, like, I don't need to go there all the time because mo- for the most part, my job can be handled remotely. remotely yeah. If anything, it could be 100% remote. 2020 and 2021 proved that these jobs could be remote. Well, 2021, 2020 and 2021 proved that apparently companies could work with, like, 50% less people. That is true. That is- which is also, like wild and also crazy and i don't think that's the right thing to do which reveals a lot of other stuff like mismanagement and miss like yeah this is mismanagement <laughs> oh my god but yeah i think we've talked this to the ground i think martha stewart has a hot take that i think is not correct if you're a landlord or um someone old having an office that Mm. needs people to be there, then yes, I do believe that like, oh, you know, we should have people. But if you're, you know, on the side of like product, I mean, productivity, like either if people weren't going to work in per, like if they're not going to work at their house doing a job, they weren't going to do their job in person. Let's be real. Like they're obviously going to be doing something else. Like yeah. the the lazy person, if they're if they're lazy at home, they're gonna be lazy at work. It's just gonna be like apples to apples, but like apples to orange. I don't know. It, it it's person to person. So like I don't know. You, but yeah, <laughs> that's my that's my <laughs> rant on that. Is that like people's argument that like oh people are more lazy at home? Is that like those people that they're like counting on are like the people that like would be lazy regardless. Mm. Because I don't, I don't think you'd be lazy at home. You're like, no, 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 no. If anything, I work harder at home because, like, I don't want them to take away. I work longer at home, yeah. Yeah, I don't want them to take away my freaking work from home. So I'm like, okay, I'll just work really hard to prove that, like, this is working. So I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to go and ruin a good thing. That's true. That is true. I don't know who these people are. Why are they ruining good things for people? They're ruining for everybody. I do think that Martha Stewart had a hot take on that, and I, I don't About the France or the... the... <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Yeah, I, well, I don't know. All of it. Yeah, all <laughs> all of the it. above. But all right. That's okay. enough of the, the hot takes for the, the real ones. But yeah. That's crazy. That's a crazy one. <laughs> <laughs>